On today's episode of DCU Daily, we're going to talk about something that both I think is good news, but at the same time, I think, you know, there's people on the internet who are like calling out James Gunn for yet again, nepotism, which honestly, I love Sean Gunn in anything. Like I've loved him since Gilmore Girls. I loved him in all the Guardians movies, but I can't wait to see more of him in the DCU. And that's exactly what it looks like we're going to get because there's a recent report out from Deadline and the, the, apparently they got a scoop and so they broke it and they were like, look, it, it, Sean Gunn, J- brother of James Gunn, which is not, you know, I'm not saying that's the only reason we know who Sean Gunn is. He himself has a very impressive resume, but it looks like Sean Gunn is going to be playing Maxwell Lord in the DCU. Now, Angelina, mm-hmm. if you remember, a few years ago, we got a movie from DC called Wonder Woman 1984, the second movie in that franchise. Yeah, that was and good times. You know, Peter Pascal, America's Daddy, he was America's Maxwell Daddy. Lord in that movie. So having, you know, having seen that iteration of the character, now it looks like we're going to be going in a different direction because the DCEU is on its way out and the DCU is on its way in. So as part of that, we're going to be recasting that character. And James Gunn has, of course, you know, it looks like selected Sean Gunn, his brother, to come in and take over the role. I really don't care... If about like whether Sean Gunn is related to James Gunn or not. I mean, you told me before the show, you didn't even realize it until recently that they were related. Yeah, I, so, I know that sounds so stupid because they have the same last name, but it really didn't even yeah. click. I was like, are they cousins or something? Like, I don't think they look that much alike, <laughs> but no, brothers, there you go. Yeah, but what did, what did you think about this news? Um. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think especially as... They're looking to recast Pedro Pascal in the MCU. I do think it makes sense sort of moving away from him in the DCU. Am I sad to see America's Daddy lose out on any work opportunities? Of course. He could have played both sides. I would have loved that. Um, Who says he can't still do it? That's I, I'd true. Venture, I guess that's he may true. still be a different character. And I, I do think that John Gunn is maybe an interesting choice for this character. I... You know, especially it sort of hint, seems like James Gunn was hinting with one of the original writers of the comics that they're going for this sort of complicated character. He's not necessarily like, he's definitely an antagonist, but he's not necessarily evil. He's got a heart of gold. I don't know if Sean Gunn it's, gives me so... that. John, Sean Gunn has always been kind of kooky. Like in Gilmore Girls, yeah. he's kooky. His character in Guardians of the Galaxy, kooky. That's the word that comes to mind when I think of his face, of his acting style. He's just kind of like the comedic relief so often. And does that say that he cannot play something more complicated? No. But I don't necessarily know if he was like the right, the right move. But with that being said, like, sure, dude. Like, I don't, I don't think this role is going to be like a huge part of the new DCEU. So, yeah, like the so the post I think you re- referred to is James Gunn, you know, on Threads, and I'm sure I think on Twitter too. He he posted it. I don't know if they were having a conversation back and forth, but uh, J.M. Dematisse, who is one of the creators of the the 1987 iteration of the Justice League comics. That's when Maxwell Lord was first introduced as a character. And then it had a long running arc well into like the, the late 80s, where he initially starts off as like a, a good person. Like, he, uh, you know, he's helping the Justice League come together. He's key to the Justice League International being put together. He's helping them with their mission and blah, blah, blah. He's like a billion billionaire. And eventually we find out, though, he's working with like, like some e- some some kind of evil force. I forget the exact nature of how the it's like story an evil turns. computer or something that was. Yeah. yeah, and then he's basically helping put robots in charge of like governments around the world. Like that's his evil mm-hmm. plot. So on the surface, he's a good guy, but really, truly, he isn't. Mm-hmm. And so I think James Gunn almost maybe playfully was referring to you know in that conversation with you know the one of the creators of this the comics one of the creators of the character of maxwell lord that he sees the character as more of an antagonist than Mm -hmm. a straight-up villain which i I, i'm like you know what that's a better way to probably approach it because a lot of what people like were criticizing pedro pascal's version of the character for not necessarily because 
I mean, look, Pedro Pascal has all the charisma in the world, and I think he made the most of what he was given in that movie in Wonder Woman 1984. But at the same time, you look at a lot of the criticisms and they come from the fact that his character ultimately was very, like, one-dimensional. Like, he was literally, like, one of those MCU villains of the week kind of villains. Like, that yeah. you see in a movie and then you forget he existed, like, three movies later until you go back and watch it again. You're like, oh, he was in this? And and I think what we're going to get here, hopefully, if you go by what James going to said on his social media and then, of course, what we are getting from the Deadline article is we're, we're going to get something that's a little more nuanced, like you referenced. We're going to get a character that's perhaps going to have an ongoing arc in, in this universe, and he's going to stick around for more than one appearance. Mm -hmm. And Sean Gunn, of course, is already voicing Diesel and I believe one other character in the Creature Commandos animated show. But I think both of the characters he's voicing are, if you bring them into the live action universe, because all of this is connected, they would be like all CGI. So Sean Gunn so far, even though he's technically playing two other characters in the DCU, both of those characters, he wouldn't physically, like Sean Gunn, the actor, would be on screen. But mm -hmm. playing Maxwell Lord, he would be on screen. So I'm finally glad to see that, you know, he even though he's really good at playing, like he he, he did all the on-set body capture for, for uh, Rocket, for all the Guardian mm -hmm. movies. And then, of course, uh, Bradley Cooper voices the character, but you know we don't we usually have we haven't really seen him like mm -hmm. play a role like this where he can really dig into his you know acting chops and give us something more nuanced than Craglin, for example, which which is yeah. the character he plays in Guardians. So I'm excited to see him take on the role. But you you wanted to go over a little bit of of like the fan reaction, and I know some fans were less excited than others. Let's say for for the from the news. You know, I wouldn't say less enthused. I just thought some of the comments were kind of funny. Can you read them? Yeah. So there was one comment on Twitter where it was like, I'd complain about nepotism, but I kind of love Sean, LOL, which I'm like, that's exactly how I feel. Facts. Like, I don't care. Yeah. You can call it nepotism, but I quite frankly don't care because Sean Gunn, every time he's on screen, he's just like a joy to see. And there were a few I think other my comments favorite like that. one is James Gunn promotes the hell out of nepotism, <laughs> LMFAO. And I'm like, yep. he sure does. It's, but the, but the, here's the thing, though, right? Like, like, you think about it. If the person who you think is the best for the job happens to be related to you, I'm like, I'm not going to go That's... out of my way to get somebody who's less of a fit for the role. Like, if it, you know. But like... That's if that's what's happening here. Hmm? That's all I got to say. That's the, I have questions about whether or not he is the perfect person for the role, but that's that's fair. See time will tell. Exactly, but but like with a lot of casting news, we usually talk about how we don't know what they have in mind for this character. Like yeah. we don't actually know what. Here's the thing: this is not something that's like official, official. Like James Gunn posting about it on social media, he didn't post that Sean Gunn has got the role. This is like Deadline reported it because yeah. they've got they got like a well source. Um, uh, inside scoop about it but it's not officially confirmed like for example uh you know nicholas holt got cast as lex luthor right so mm -hmm. that story broke a few weeks ago and we talked about it on dc daily and we like covered it in detail right but it wasn't until like a few days ago or like a week or so ago depending on when you're watching this that james gunn went on threads and posted an official photo of him with nicholas holt and in, in his office saying hey now it's official and he explained that hey look I know it's been in the news of late, so it may sound like I'm being repetitive here, but it's not something that was official official until recently when, you yeah. know, all the the I's were dotted and the T's were crossed. Like, I'm sure the contracts and everything that has to happen. And only then did James Gunn post about it. So James Gunn has not posted about the Sean Gunn news yet. Yeah. So as far as the official, you know, casting for any project goes, we don't know what project Sean Gunn is going to show up in as Maxwell Lord. Could it be Superman Legacy? Possibly. That's the one mm -hmm. project that's live action project in the new DC that's farthest along in development, but it could very easily be anything else. It could be one of the TV shows, whether it's Peacemaker season two, the Waller show, it could be the Green Lantern series. It mm, could yeah. be the Batman movie or, or the Booster Gold TV show. There's so many projects coming up. I have a feeling we're probably going to get to see a little bit of him in, in Superman Legacy as like a background character. Yeah. And then he will make a larger appearance and a more significant role down the road. Of course, 
in the comic panel that James Gunn shared. Let me just quickly show that on can- on screen again. That panel, like very specifically, has Booster Gold in it. So when you look at that, and you look at the fact that there's a Booster Gold TV show coming up, I know that we got the previous version of Maxwell Lord in live action, but in a Wonder Woman movie, we could, you know, because he's associated with the Justice League, uh, especially Justice League International, depending on who's in the Justice League in the new DCU, Mm -hmm. and since we're going to get a Booster Gold show, we could very easily see Maxwell Lord be like maybe an antagonist, as per James Gunn, in that Booster Gold TV show. So I would love to see that. You know, I think that yeah. would be great. Which wherever we get to see Sean Gunn again, I am a fan of his his work. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, what and I'm, I'm sure you are too. Although you're doubting, like whether he's the good fit for it, which we'll see in due time. I guess you know we'll see what happens. Um, but guys, let us know in the comments below what do you think about this? Do you, do you like the idea of Sean Gunn taking on the role of Maxwell Lord? Which look for a lot of people, it may be a bit of a downgrade going from Pedro Pascal to Sean Gunn. And I get that, but this is a new universe. We're going to get a new iteration. This Maxwell Lord may not even interact with the Wonder Woman of the universe. Um, but let us know in the comments what you think about the news that Sean Gunn is going to be playing Maxwell Lord in the new DCU. Are you like the one pointing fingers for nepotism at James Gunn? Or are you, you know, just excited to see you know, in what capacity we get to see Sean Gunn in this new universe. Let us know in the comments. And of course, keep coming back here for more content like this on DCU Daily.